exactly correct. Now, let me go to something much more startling. The black oil in the water in the Gulf of Mexico is not the greatest danger. Are you hearing me? I mean, you, you've got to understand we are not being told by our president and by our congressman, and they know this. The black stuff that comes out that you call oil is just destroying wildlife, fish and oysters and shrimp and fishermen's occupations and pristine white beaches and the marshlands and the coral reefs. What comes out with the oil? Most people don't realize this, uh, Alex, that there are actually things that come out of the ground with the oil. And what comes out of the ground, out of that gusher with the oil is causing the death of humans and unborn babies. Folks, please, I have never been so concerned in my life. Most people think only oil comes out. Oil is not the only thing that comes out. I'm going to give them to you. Right from the EPA. They came out with their report this week. This is the Environmental Protection Agency. They went to the Gulf. They made their test. And they found coming out with the oil of some of the most toxic compounds and gases. They are in the air. They are flammable. They are toxic. And I'm going to name them for you and give you the report right from the Environmental Protection Agency. They are hiding this. I was able to get it. Please write these words down. They announced just this week volatile organic compounds in the air in the Gulf. Did you get those words? This is very important. Volatile organic compounds. They listed some. I'm going to list them for you. This will scare the daylights out of you. In the atmosphere, in the Gulf, number one, hydrogen sulfide. The levels that are allowed, according to the EPA's own statements, the allowable levels of hydrogen sulfide are 5 to 10 parts per billion. I'm saying these very carefully so you get it. P-P-B, parts per billion. They tested in the last few days in the Gulf, and the winds are carrying this to the shore. It scares the daylights out of me. Florida's getting it. Alabama, Georgia, uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, hydrogen sulfide. Safe levels, 5 to 10 parts per billion. Tested level this past week presently, 1,200 parts per billion. And you wonder why people are getting sick. Let me give you the next one. Benzene. Oh, please. I'm going to read you the contents and the, 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 uh, how dangerous benzene is in a moment. Benzene. This is toxic. It causes malignancies. It's known to cause leukemia and cancer. The safe level, according to the Environmental Protection Agency's own records, it is so toxic they only allow zero to four parts per billion. The current level in the Gulf of Mexico going to the shore of all of those states and Florida being carried by the winds is 3,000 parts per billion. Folks, this, this, this is so startling. The people down there should at least be warned by this 13-year-old adult we call the President of the United States of America. The people should at least be told by this man what they're breathing, what they're facing. And that two, three, five, ten years from now, we're going to have deformed babies and people with respiratory problems and people dying. I will give you one more. Well, I must go back to benzene. Wait a minute. i got to read you what the what it says on benzene, Expose, exposure to low levels of benzene can cause dizziness, drowsiness, headache, confusion, tremor, rapid heartbeat, and unconsciousness. Long-term exposure to benzene can cause damage in the bone marrow and lead to blood problems like leukemia. It also weakens the immune system and targets uh, organs such as the kidneys, lungs, and the brain. Folks, this is so dangerous until even I, as a minister, shut up to think about it. I'm going to give you one more. It was in the EPA's uh, report. Methylene chloride, safe levels of methylene chloride that a person can breathe in the air, and this is airborne, in the Gulf, safe levels, 61 parts per billion. The current levels that were just found a few days ago by the EPA, 3,000 to 3,400 parts per billion. And the American people are not being warned that they're breathing this toxic 
flammable stuff. And Alex, a hurricane. I, I shudder to think about it. No health care system in the world would ever be able to pay the hospital bills of what people are going to suffer. Alex, I'm like... Allen's. It's a situation, the financial markets, looking at the stock market today. Does it seem a little strange to you with the biggest, quote, ecological disaster, the biggest financial disaster, what you see on the front of drugs that British Petroleum might declare bankruptcy? And isn't that interesting that after they're in, uh, insuring their oil rig for double the value of it? Huh, interesting, kind of like Twin Towers time. Huh. People say, but do you think this was a man-made thing, or do you think this was just an accident, or do you think... I said, you know what? At the end of the day, the the cause is secondary. How are you going to res, uh, respond and act to the uh, ramifications of what you're being told? 